Hello everyone, welcome back to Pathology Tutorials. Today I am going to present a very short video describing the various histopathological features of very important dermatopath case and that case is psoriasis. So let's begin. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease which presents with well circumscribed erythematous patches with silvery white scales associated with HLA-CW6 and it involves extensive surfaces, extremities, scalp and nails. In nails, it causes pitting and removal of nail from the skin. Auspice sign is seen where we see bleeding if the scale is removed. Worn off ring is seen which is a white hollow around psoriatic plaque due to prostaglandin E2 and is seen especially with treatment. More CD4 cells are seen in dermis, more CD8 seen in the epidermis. Susceptibility gene is SOR1 and usually it is rheumatoid factor negative. Epidermal turnover is increased to 3, three to 4 days and it causes hypogranulosis due to rapid turnover rate. Now possible triggers for the disease are Trauma and when the psoriatic lesion occurs after trauma, it is called as Kopner's reaction or Kopner's phenomena. Next trigger is infection. Then drugs which include beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, lithium and interferons remembered as Bali. This is a clinical presentation of psoriatic lesion where we can see a large arrhythmatous psoriatic lesion with presence of white scales over it. This is another picture where we can see multiple psoriatic lesions with presence of these scaly silvery scales over the lesion. These lesions are very itchy. So coming to the histopathology, this is the HNE stain slide of the lesion where we can see the changes in the epidermis. Now, uh, we see the acanthosis of the epidermis along with elongation of these reti ridges. On high power, we can see the changes in the epidermis. So, we start from the stratum corneum. In stratum corneum, we can see confluent parakeratosis. Now, what is parakeratosis? It is defined as presence of nucleated keratinocytes in stratum corneum and it is believed to be due to accelerated turnover of keratinocytes. The next is neutrophilic abscess in stratum corneum. Here we can see the presence of neutrophils forming an abscess in the stratum corneum which is called as Munro micro abscess. Many abscesses can also be seen in the epidermis in the spinous layer where they are called as pustule of cogoge. But, th but those micro abscesses are not seen in all cases of psoriasis. The next change is seen in the form of loss of granular layer just below the parakeratosis. This under the para parakeratosis we see the loss of granular layer but in the rest of the area granular layer can be present. And fourth point is acanthosis with psoriasiform hyperplasia. Now what is acanthosis? It is the thickening of spinous layer in the epidermis. And what is psoriasiform hyperplasia? It is defined as elongated bulbous reti ridges. Then the next important histopathological feature is thinning of the suprapapillary plates. Now what is suprapapillary plate? It is actually the part of the epidermis above the 
dermal papillae which gets thinned out in psoriasis this is the uh, dermal papillae and this is thinned out derm, uh, suprapapillary plates the next feature is increased capillaries in dermal papillae here we can see increased capillaries in dermal papillae and seventh important point is increased mitosis in the basal layer as we know in psoriasis the turnover of keratinocytes is increased which leads to presence of mitosis in the basal layer so it should not be confused with actinic keratosis which also presents with my increased mitosis in the basal layer we can also see superficial perivascular lymphocytic infiltrate in the dermis but one change which is always present in psoriasis is presence of neutrophils in stratum corneum and if neutrophils are not seen in stratum corneum we will not we will call it psoriasiform dermatitis and not a psoriasis for example in gutted psoriasis which is an very acute process which presents after any illness for example streptococcal infection in children here in this psoriasis we don't see all these features histopathological features of psoriasis but we make a diagnosis of psoriasis on the presence of neutrophils in stratum corneum so the presence of neutrophils in stratum corneum is considered to be an essential feature to label it as psoriasis now there is an entity called as psoriasiform dermatitis what is it it is actually a histopathological term that refer refers to a group of disorders which histologically mimic psoriasis and what those disorders are first is lichenified dermatitis seborrheic dermatitis pityriasis rubra pilaris secondary syphilis mycosis fungites inflammatory linear varicose epidermal nevus so these all are we can simply say differential diagnosis of psoriasis on histopathology thank you so much